happy trails to the greatest journeyman quarterback in the history of professional football. Happy trails to good old Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick retired from the NFL this week after a prolific career in professional football. He, he last played with the Washington Commanders this past season. He got injured, was unable to play throughout the regular season. A former seventh round pick in 2005 with the St. Louis Rams. Fitzpatrick has played for, let's count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine teams in over 16, 17, 17 seasons in the NFL and made a name for himself. 223 touchdowns, 169 interceptions, almost 35,000 yards on the dot passing, 60% completion percentage, over 2,000 rushing yards, and 21 touchdowns. Ryan Fitzpatrick, if there's any journeyman quarterback, any journeyman quarterback that makes a case to be a Hall of Famer for just being a journeyman quarterback, it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. And look, I know that there's people out there. There is a dynamic. The dichotomy of Fitzpatrick is not lost on me. We've seen a lot of Fitz magic in our time. And we saw it in, in uh, 2020 with the Miami Dolphins when he nearly led that team to the, to the, not to the Super Bowl, but to the playoffs by just coming in in relief of Tua Tagovailoa and making immaculate plays. We saw it in Tampa Bay for a little bit. We saw it in New York. 30 touchdowns that one year. Jets were 10-6 and six and missed the playoffs. Which is, by the way, Ryan Tannehill. Or sorry, not Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Part of two 10-6 teams that ended up make, missing the playoffs. It's crazy. You can't write this stuff. The dude never played in the playoff game. But ever since he had that... Like, I think it was what, 2011, 2010, 2011. One of those years. It was a year with the Buffalo Bills where they started off pretty hot. I think they were like... They were like uh, six and two or something and Fitzpatrick was just playing lights out and everyone was just raving about oh my god Fitzpatrick he's the next guy he got a big contract and then he goes to Tennessee then he goes to Houston he comes in for a few games um then he goes to the New York Jets and they have an immaculate year with Brandon Marshall uh as well next year isn't too great he goes to Tampa Bay in relief of Jameis Winston we see Fitzpatrick put up some insane numbers. Like, he had, like, multiple games of five touchdowns. Fitzpatrick also had one of the best, most ripped-out press conferences in NFL history right there, wearing Deshaun Watson, or Deshaun, uh, sorry, Deshaun Jackson, I should say, uh, his chain and his shirt. Uh, he, like, he's a guy who, the beard is iconic, the touchdowns are iconic, the interceptions are just as iconic, and... The the ballad of Fitzpatrick will be told. Like I know there's a lot of journeyman quarterbacks out there in NFL history. No hate on Vinny Testaverde, who I thought uh, at one time was the greatest journeyman quarterback of all time. It's been written. It's Fitzpatrick. There has been no one more successful as a journeyman in this league than Fitzpatrick. There have been people who have been on more teams. I'm talking to you, Josh Johnson. But there's no one like Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, who has had the, the high highs and the low lows. And the only thing that we can say, the, only, the biggest thing that we can say, honestly, is it's just it just sucks that we never got to see what he could do in the playoffs. And granted, he, well, he didn't have a great winning percentage, 59 wins, 87 losses, and a tie. But... Man, it just would have been, it, it would have been electric. Uh, win, lose, touchdown, pick, it would have been electric. But happy trails to Ryan Fitzpatrick. Have a happy retirement. You deserve it. Hey, everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.